Manchester United want to sign another Romelu Lukaku for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. While Manchester United boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer never took to Romelu Lukaku, it seems like the Red Devils want to sign another version of the Chelsea new boy. After all, it was the Norwegian himself who compared the Belgium international to Erling Haaland. And the Borussia Dortmund striker is their top transfer target for a year's time. Manchester United were initially planning on signing Haaland this summer. After seeing the Norway international score 40 goals across all competitions last term, it's certainly easy to see why. However, United then changed their stance. Originally, they'd expected to lose Edinson Cavani on a free transfer. The Uruguay international craved a return to South America, while his agent talked up a move to Boca Juniors. But after being unleashed more in the wake of an injury to Anthony Marshall, the United star then changed his mind. Cavani stayed. And Jadon Sancho, instead of Holland, became their number one transfer target for the summer's window. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz barring a late twist, the Red Devils aren't expected to bolster their front line any further. Sancho, Cavani, Mason Greenwood, Paul Pogba, Anthony Marshall and Daniel James are options aplenty for the time being. However, United do want to sign Holland next summer instead. The expectancy is that this year will be Cavani's last in English football, with the 34-year-old's dream of returning to South America still an open secret. And Holland is the player Solskjaer and John Murto both believe is good enough to take on the veteran's mantle, having watched him shine for Dortmund. Speaking to NRK in July 2018, when he was in charge at Mould, the United boss actually compared Holland to Lukaku. Don't miss Man United set Kane Price by Tottenham Chief Levy convinced Barcelona's strong eye with Ronaldo and two other signings Arsenal's amazing squad, if Edu seals six more deals he can become a top striker for sure. He reminds me of the type of striker Romelu Lukaku is, he said. There is a lot of interest in him. We have had offers from good clubs this year, but we rejected them. Former Champions League winners. It's interesting to look at those comments now. After all, Solskjaer barely gave Lukaku a chance during their time together at United, using the Belgium international off the bench for the most part. That, in the end, helped contribute to the player's departure. Do you want an exclusive pre-season preview for your club, both in your inbox and through your letterbox? Head over here to find out more and secure your copy. United had signed Lukaku for £75 million in the summer transfer window of 2017, after missing out on Antoine Griezmann who opted to remain with Atletico Madrid. Initially, things went well. The Belgian netted 28 times across all competitions for the club, showing he was more than up for the task of leading the Red Devils' attack. But that number dropped to 16 the following year, with Lukaku struggling for form under both Solskjaer and Jose Mourinho. United have replaced him with Mason Greenwood without spending a single penny. But Holland is the one they really want to lead them in the years ahead, and, next summer, a transfer could materialise. There will be hurdles of course. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Chelsea and potentially Paris Saint-Germain will rival United for the signing of Holland next term. And then there's the obstacle of Mino Raiola, who will 